Hello again, this is Math 2134 coming to you from the College of DuPage. The title of this lecture is LSA 4 Solutions. And please be an active learner as you watch this video. Element number one, you were to find an approximation of the area under this region R under the graph of y equals f of x is 2x squared plus 1 on the interval 0 to 3 using four subintervals of the interval 0 to 3 of equal length and picking the midpoint of each subinterval as a representative point. Well, the length of each subinterval is going to be 3 fourths, therefore, these are the subintervals we have, and the representative points are the midpoints of each of these intervals. So it would be 3 over 8, 9 over 8, 15 over 8, and 21 over 8, respectively. Therefore, the required approximation is given by this sum of rectangles. You substitute the values in to the function, do the calculation, and you get 663 over 32, or approximately 20.72. Number two, you were to evaluate this definite integral. Your answer is going to be a number, and I expect it to be an exact number. So uh, what we're going to do is we'll integrate term by term. So we add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. We get 1 half x squared, and the antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x. And then I evaluate these at 2 and 0. I stick 2 in and subtract, sticking 0 in. I know e to the 0 is 1. Uh, and e squared is just a number, and if you do all the calculation, the exact answer is e squared. That is a number, plus 1. Number 3, uh, you were given the marginal profit. So this is the derivative, the rate of change. But you want to know what is the total profit? Well, um, when you do uh, 1,000 cases, well, you want to have p of 1,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to integrate the rate of change from 0 to 1,000. And so uh, we will input uh, this as the function, and we'll do the integral. Now, when I integrate this, I add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, I get this. And here I get 6x, 1,000, and 0. 0 is easy, because when I put 0 in there, I'll get 0. But when I put 1,000, I will get 4,000. And that's the answer to part A. But then it asks, what additional profit is realized if you increase from uh, 1,000 to 1,200. Well, that, by the net change theorem, is going to be the integral from 1,000 to 1,200 of, again, this. We've already found the antiderivative, so we're plugging in those values. Uh, we use the fundamental theorem of calculus, and we find that we will lose $256 in profit. That is, the company's profit is reduced by $256 per day if they increase production. Number four is evaluating a definite integral. Your answer should be a number. This is integration by substitution. So we're going to let u equal 2x plus 5. That means that du is equal to 2dx, and that means that dx is equal to 1 half du. Also, we have to be mindful of their limits. And you see we're doing this uh, integral in terms of u. So instead of going from uh, 0, uh, when x is 0, u is 5. When x is 2, u is 9. So you see here we're integrating with respect to x, so the limits are x. But we've changed variables to y. Notice the 1 half was pulled out. But now the limits are u's. Uh, we add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, and we take it times 1 half. We use the fundamental theorem of calculus, and we get this as our answer. Some of my students would say that this is an ugly number, but there are no such things as ugly numbers, just like there are no ugly babies. This is the exact answer. This is what I would want. Here's number five. We're to find the average value of this function, y equals f of x equal 1 minus x squared over the interval, minus 1 to 2. Well, the length of the interval is 3, so it's 1 over b minus a. That's the formula we learned. And you integrate the function. The antiderivative of 1 is going to be x. Here you add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. And you evaluate that at the top limit. And then you subtract and evaluate at the lower limit. You do all this calculation, and you get 0. Now that means that the average value is zero. So it is negative during some part of the thing and positive during the other, but it nets out to zero. All 
Okay, uh, let's see here. The median price of a house from those dates is approximated by this function. Determine the average median price. Well, you see, we just say, oh, this goes from over an interval of length 5. We integrate the function and divide it by 5. So we integrate here. We add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponents. All the way through, evaluate this at 5 and 0. 0 is easy to evaluate because all of those are 0, but the other one is not. And so you end up with approximately 295,417 because this was in thousands. Let's look at number uh, 7. We were to find the area between these two curves and those vertical lines. We have to graph it. And uh, you can't go anywhere until you graph it. So here we graph it. This is the function that's on top. This is the function that's on bottom. We're going between x equals 0 and x equals 1. So that's the area we're calculating. So it's the integral of the function on top minus the whole of the function on the bottom. Now we can simplify this and doing the algebra is best to do. Then we're going to integrate. And so add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. Evaluated 1 and 0, and you get 11 over 6 for this answer. Here you want to find the area completely enclosed by these graphs. Again, the first step is you have to graph them because you have to know what's on top and what's on bottom. So this is the area that we're seeking. Therefore, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to know these points of intersection and we're integrating with respect to x. So we're going to go from 0 to 3 after we find those points of intersection. So it's going to be um, the integral from 0 to 3, the definite integral from 0 to 3 of the function that's on top minus the whole of the function on the bottom. You do the algebra first, you get this. Now we add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent, do the calculation, and use the fundamental theorem of calculus, and we get an answer of 9 for this problem. Okay, uh, here you have this company in a lot of words, but their profits are growing at a rate. Rate tells you that's the derivative, and those are in terms of million dollars per year. So what additional profits are expected uh, over the next 10 years if they implement those plans? And that's what's, uh, what's uh, happening here. Now this was what happened before the plans. This is after the plans. So you say, okay, this is after the plans minus before the plans. We integrate from 0 to 10. We add 1 uh, to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, quite a bit of calculation, evaluate at 10 and 0, and we get 9.99 or approximately $10 million. Here's problem 10. This is integration by parts. And uh, so uh, what you do is you're going to let x equal ln x and dv equal x squared dx. So du is equal to 1 over x dx and v is equal to 1 over 3x cubed. So the integral of uh, u dv is equal to uv minus v, d, the integral of v du. So here uh, we're going to be taking um, v times uh, u, that's what we have here, minus the integral of, and this is going to be uh, v du. Now notice when I do v du, one of those x's cancels out. That's how come you have x squared there. So we have to do this integral. We add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, and do the calculations, and we get this as our answer to the problem. Problem 11, uh, and again, they're telling us, oh, this is the rate that you're going at, growing at. So this is the rate, this is the derivative, and we have to integrate this. So to find the number, we're going to be integrating that. And you see, uh, we're going to do it term by term. But here, we're going to have to integrate by parts. So here, we're going to have to let u equal t and dv equal e to the minus 0.4 t dt. So we have this, and we have this when we find out what v is. We have to integrate to find v, and so this is another way to say v. So therefore, this is, that's the first um, expression. 
uh, but then I'm going to have uv plus, and this is going to be uh, minus the integral of v du. There's a minus and minus interaction going on here. So we do the calculation and we get this. Now to determine c, we can say what happens at our initial uh, value. So n at 0 is equal to uh, 0. So we plug that in and we figure out that c has to be 1.25. Therefore, this is now n of t, and we've replaced c with 1.25. So the number of passengers will be this. We substitute the numbers in, and we will get uh, 1,242,493. Uh, the last problem, we're to use the trapezoidal rule with, uh, with n equal 10 uh, to do this. Okay, and so um, we break it, uh, so we go from 0 to, this is point is 1,000, and so we're going to say um, uh, delta x is going to be b minus a, which in this case is going to be uh, 1,000, uh, divided by um, n, which is uh, 10. So that means delta x, then, is equal to, uh, 100 because it's a thousand divided by 10 so that is a hundred and our formula we have delta x over 2 so delta x over 2 is going to be 50 now I'm splitting this in half I'm doing the upper area and then the lower area and then I'm adding them together so the upper area here I'm using the formula where I multiply everything in the middle by 2 I add it up and I get this and then I multiply that by delta x over 2 to get this number for the lowers, I use these numbers, multiply them by the proper coefficients, add them up, and you get this. And then I'm going to add, oh, multiply that by 50, and I get this. And then I add these two numbers together, and there is your final answer. So, with this low stakes assessment, you were able to perfect your Blackboard submission skills, turning in your PDFs and the answer sheets and using passwords. Good practice because we're going to be doing that on the final exam. You also will be able to practice and uh, increase your calculus skills. Now you do have an opportunity to review this for the final. You can use this video resource, but in addition to this video, there's a copy of these PowerPoints in your syllabus tab. So you are ready to move into chapter five. And if yes, that's good. If no, I know things are complicated, but realize that John, Hoy, Cheryl Martin's militia, and I stand ready to assist you in doing so. In closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself and of each other. May God bless you all.